Welcome to Biochemistry DSP channel. In this video, I will be discussing about dietary fibers. The non digestible carbohydrates in plant foods are called as dietary fibers. These dietary fibers cannot be digested by humans by their digestive enzymes, whereas herbivores can digest cellulose and, uh, for their source of energy. So, humans cannot digest this uh, dietary fibers, whereas animals can digest uh, dietary fibers with the help of their enzymes. These dietary fibers are also called as non starch polysaccharides. These are known as roughage comprising non digestible carbohydrates, mainly cellulose, lignins, pectins, hemicellulose, gums, and mucilages. There are two types of dietary fibers water soluble dietary fiber and water insoluble dietary fibers. The water soluble dietary fibers include vegetables and unrefined cereals like uh, cellulose, hemicellulose and lignins and uh, fruits, pulses, oats constitutes the water soluble dietary fibers in the form of pectin, gums, beta glucans and mucilages. These dietary fibers will not provide any energy but they have invaluable beneficial effects on human health. The good sources of dietary fibers include cereals and cereal products, fruits and vegetables which includes pulses and beans. Uh, food such as meat, fish and dairy products will not contain any dietary fibers. Nutritional and health significance of dietary fibers. These dietary fibers will not be hydrolyzed by digestive enzymes of humans because the cellulose which is present in them cannot be broke down. Okay, uh, any, That is the humans cannot break down the bonds uh, involved in this cellulose structure. Cellulose contains beta 1,4 linkage. We don't have any enzyme to break the beta 1 4 linkage we have only amylase to break the alpha 1 4 linkages so this undigested cellulose from the plant foods forms roughage or fiber which is essential for the bowel movement these dietary fibers will not provide any energy the beneficial effects of dietary fibers Dietary fibers improves the bowel movement and prevents constipation. Uh, because the roughage uh, absorbs and retains large amount of water, it provides bulk to the intestinal content and improves the intestinal or bowel mobility. The water insoluble dietary fibers like uh, cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignins not only increase the weight and bulk of stool but also softens, uh, softens it and uh, they decrease the bowel transit time. So, and also it will help in the easy defecation as well as it will reduce the risk of constipation, hemorrhoids and diverticular diseases. The next important function of dietary fibers is it prevents colon cancer. Since the dietary fibers are especially mainly the, it contains lignins, okay. These lignins uh, can bind with carcinogens and prevent their absorption from intestine. Uh, in this way, these dietary fibers play an important role in reducing the risk of colon cancer. Recent studies have shown that non vegetarians have greater risk of developing colon cancer as compared to vegetarians. Because non vegetarian foodstuffs contain no dietary fibers. Another important reason of dietary fiber is it reduces blood cholesterol. 
water soluble dietary fibers like uh, pectins and gums which have got a very good hypocholesterolemic effect by binding the dietary cholesterol and prevents its absorption from the intestinal lumen so uh, the action of dietary fibers will help in the elimination of cholesterol in feces these fibers can also bind with bile acids and bile salts thereby it prevents their reabsorption from the gut this causes loss of bile acids in feces which in turn enhances the conversion of cholesterol into bile acids and promotes its disposal from the body these actions of dietary fibers helps in decreasing the blood cholesterol level uh, so a diet rich in dietary fibers can reduce the risk of atherosclerosis and coronary heart disease which are associated with hypercholesterolemia next uh, the role of uh, dietary fibers in diabetes mellitus water soluble dietary fibers like pectins mucilage and gums will delay the postprandial rise in blood glucose level by slowing the rate of stomach emptying so this action prevents the rapid rise of blood glucose level after ingestion of diet and improves the glucose tolerance of the body so this uh, so that the diabetics are recommended to have high fiber diet to control their blood glucose level so summary uh, is uh, dietary fibers will uh, decrease the risk of constipation hemorrhoids and diverticulosis it also delays the postprandial rise in blood glucose level it will reduce blood cholesterol level and decreases the risk of coronary heart disease it also decreases the risk of colon cancer and stimulates the contraction of the digestive tract and adds bulk to the stool it re retards the gastric emptying and animal foods will not contain any dietary fibers dietary fibers have been shown to inhibit the absorption of nutrients like minerals and some vitamins soluble fibers such as inulin and their oligopolysaccharides were shown to promote absorption of magnesium calcium iron and zinc by increasing the permeability the insoluble fiber will bind to the above minerals non specifically and it will reduce their absorption soluble fibers could also reduce the risk of a uh, colon cancer development consumption of fenugreek okay consumption of fenugreek seeds which contains uh, dietary fibers can reduce blood glucose level as well as serum cholesterol level and uh, how to get proper amount of fiber so what you have to do means you have to start your day with a whole grain breakfast cereal that is the oatmeal choose whole fruit instead of fruit juice eat five servings of fruits and vegetables per day select high fiber snacks like popcorn with no butter raw vegetables nuts apples pears peaches plums with edible skin thank you for watching this video subscribe and support the channel biochemistry dsp